Hey there, I want to give you a quick demonstration of using Logic's built-in pitch correction. So I'm going to use it on this vocal track. You need to go to inserts, down to pitch, then pitch correction. As soon as you activate this plugin, this, this insert, it is doing something. It's going to be fixing the, the pitch. It's going to be pitch correcting. So it has its default settings here. Now down at the bottom it's going to show you what it's doing if it's going to if it's pulling the pitch down to correct it or if it's pushing it up making it sharper to correct it. If you pull this response time down, it's going to fix the pitch quicker which can end up giving you artifacts. So dial it in to your taste there. Some vocalists tend to sing a little bit under the pitch or on top, and this detune button helps you to retain their general vocal sound. So if they tend to sing under the pitch, I would set this at about two cents under the pitch. It tends to give a more realistic representation of their voice. Here at the top, you can identify the scale that's being used. So if you know the key that this, this song is in, you go ahead and insert that here. If this, the song is mostly in one scale, but occasionally there's a, a note from outside the scale, maybe a B natural in this key, then I can add that note to, to the scale and it works for this vocal then. Finally, to control this vocal, to micromanage it a little bit, I would hit the letter A here once the track is selected. Where it says volume here, let's go ahead and go up to pitch correction and response. What we can do is we can artistically use this plugin that in some parts of this vocal we want the, the pitch correction to be fast and others we want it to be slower because we're getting artifacts. Then we can control that by automating that response time. So here, here you'll see that response time on the right uh, go up and down as we dialed in that, that automation. Well, that's my crash course in using Pitch Correction Logic Pro, and I hope it's helpful. If you have questions, feel free to shoot me an email. See ya.